Good morning! You know what time we woke up? 6.30 in the morning. You know what time we're leaving? It's probably like 9.45 a.m. It's cold! And I didn't feel like waking up and starting a fire. Zorro, I miss you already. So we just laid in our tent, in our sleeping bags, and ate breakfast, and drank coffee, and just hung out until we were warm enough to have the courage to get up and start packing. Today's plan is supposed to be 10 miles, but it's probably gonna be 11. We finish this section of the map on Gut Hook, which is nice. And we're about 20 or 20 miles or less from the Maine, New Hampshire border. It's gonna be great getting out of Maine. I'm not sure where the Tramley is, I know Caroline and Zorro were at the shelter I was waiting for onesie at yesterday. So they're 5.7 back, unless they're ahead of us now. And Shutter, he's ahead of us because he un unfortunately had to skip a section of trail because it was too much money. Shutter, it's okay. Casey slash onesie and I have skipped many, many miles already. So not many miles, but you guys know the deal. Anyway, hopefully it warms up. It's already kind of starting to warm up. Let's get to it. And most importantly, it's gonna be a beautiful day. Break time! Fry Notch Shelter. I remembered the name of the shelter. Oh, that's right. Fry Notch Lean To. My bad. We're taking a break. 4.4 miles done. Look, my nipples, they're so hard. It's so cold out here. Nice easy day today. I mean, the terrain, terrain is, could be a little easier. We do have a climb coming up to Bald Pate, which is some mountain. There's like Bald Pate East and Bald Pate West, I believe and it's above tree line, so that'll be pretty nice. Probably the next shelter will take a lunch break, and then after that, it's downhill to our campsite. Both mountains, done. We are now making our way down and down and down. Also just ran into Boomerang. Haven't seen that dude since Waynesboro, Virginia. And we met all the other Waynesboro people. Boomerang taking his sweet, sweet time. But we, we got up to the top of this mountain and 
What do you know? Boomerang's sitting there eating espresso chocolate beans. So, dude, you were like one of my favorite people that I met. What, like a real person, you know? Like, no, no BS. Now it's downhill to lunch, and I can't wait to eat lunch. And our day's almost over with. About 11 miles, we're either gonna stay at a road. Boomerang stayed there last night, but he said, the trucks roll in very early in the morning and they'll wake you up. Or, if you go a mile past that, there's some really good tenting next to the stream. So depending on how Casey slash Onesie feels, maybe we'll go another mile. But right now, it's lunchtime. That's crazy. Anybody getting used to that yet? I haven't done it continuously in a very long time. So you're welcome if you've missed it. It's a very short day, but we're taking our time, man. I think we have 1.8 to the road, and that's where we were going to call it a day. We made it! I almost forgot to do that last shot. Haven't done that in a while, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we aren't really supposed to camp here, but we're gonna do it anyway because there's nowhere really else to go. And we wanna have a fire, and there's a fire ring here, so. 10.1 miles, done. Took all day to do that. <laughs> But it was cool. We met some awesome people and we ran into Boomerang, so that was awesome. Tomorrow's gonna suck. We got a big climb right off the bat. And we have three days till Gorham, New Hampshire. So we gotta ride the wave until my shoes get there. Because as you see, that is getting worse and worse by the day. I have ordered a new pair, cost me 150 bucks, but I ordered a new pair and they're in, they should be in Gorham by the 24th. So let me set up this tent, Casey slash Onesie's getting the fire going, and have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.